have a problem. Who will help us document and gather the information we will get today? Don't worry. I have something to back us up. Hi guys. We need help. Oh no! That's girl stuff. This is the most popular personal digital assistant robot there is in the whole universe, you know. Hello guys. Today, we are gathering information about electricity for you. I hope you will enjoy the video. Do you know about electricity? Well, electricity is a form of energy. It's very useful on this planet. There are a lot of electrical appliances in homes nowadays. These appliances use electricity from various sources in order to work or function. The four main sources of electricity are dry cell, accumulator, dynamo, and solar cell. Dry cells contain chemicals. When these chemicals react with one another, electricity is produced. A dry cell converts chemical energy to electrical energy. Accumulators also produce electricity when the chemicals react with one another. However, the electricity produced from accumulators is greater than the electricity produced by dry cells. A dynamo consists of a coil of wire that is placed in between magnets. When the coil of wire is spun, electricity is produced. A dynamo converts kinetic energy to electrical energy. Solar cells consist of thin and flat plates that are sensitive to light. When these plates are exposed to sunlight, they start to produce electricity. The solar cells convert light energy to electrical energy. We are fixing Elma right now, but I must tell you about this. It's about the electrical circuit. Let me show you. An electrical circuit refers to a set of electrical components that are connected to each other to allow the flow of electricity. The electrical circuit uses dry cells to supply electricity. It consists of a positive terminal and a negative terminal. The bulb consists of a thin wire called the filament, which is kept in a glass casing. The filament will light up when electricity flows through the bulb. The wire is an electrical conductor that connects one electrical component to another. The conductor is coated with materials such as PVC which prevents electricity from flowing to other objects that touch the conductor, such as our hands. The switch is a component that allows or prevents electricity from flowing through a circuit. When you turn on a switch of a circuit, Electricity will flow from the source to all the components of a circuit. Earthling science, however, uses symbols to show it on paper. Symbols have been used when drawing an electrical circuit. Let me show you some symbols that are usually used to draw electrical circuits. This is a symbol of a dry cell. This is a symbol of a wire. This is a symbol of an open switch. Now this is a symbol of a closed switch. This is a symbol of a bulb. Look at this electrical circuit. 
Let's change it into a drawing of an electrical circuit like this. Voila! Now, this is a drawing of an electrical circuit. I have done everything! But I still can't fix Alma. Why? Why? <sighs> Quiet, Mira. We just need to find an incomplete circuit inside her. She will be all right. Really? Yes. I'm very sure about that. Now, let me tell you about complete and incomplete circuits. I know so much because my body is full of them. Hey, 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 hey. Let me show you an electrical circuit. This is an electrical circuit. Let's turn on the switch. The bulb doesn't light enough. Why? Let's look at it closely. Can you see the problem? Yes, the wire is not connected to the bulb, which means this is an incomplete circuit. This is another electrical circuit. Let's turn on the switch. The bulb doesn't light enough. Why? Let's look at it closely. Can you see the problem? Yes, these pastels are not connected like properly. They are both wrong with the positive terminals. Must connect to negative terminals for the other person. Which means this is an incomplete circuit. This is another electrical circuit. It seems okay to me, but the book doesn't like now. Why? Well, Clancy, can you see the problem? Yes, we need to turn on the switch, which means this is an incomplete circuit. you understand guys when the circuit doesn't work it's an incomplete circuit when it works that's a complete circuit easy huh look at these two electrical circuits do you notice the difference look Properly, guys. This is a series circuit and this is a parallel circuit. Let me show you their drawings. This is a series circuit. Only one wire is used to connect one component to another. This means the electrical current can only flow in one path. This is a parallel circuit. It uses more than one connecting wire. This means that the electrical current can flow through more than one path. Do not touch switches and electrical appliances with wet hands. Do not use electrical appliances that are faulty or that have damaged insulators. Do not connect too many appliances to a single power supply. Do not Insert objects into a power supply.
Do not repair electrical appliances on your own. Get a professional electrician to repair them. Do not directly touch electrocuted victims who are still in contact with the source of electricity. Use insulators such as rubber or plastic to help them out. Ooh, that's so horrible! Now we know how Elma feels. <laughs> Elma? Elma? You okay now? Thank goodness you're okay. Now we must head back to school. Let's go! Let's go! Uh -huh.